Welcome. Today's full length class is a very mindful flow that is just designed to get you not thinking so much about the posture that comes next, but rather the feeling in the body, how you are reacting to each posture, each breath, and where you could invite some more space, where you could back off a little or potentially move into. But this can't occur if we are not present and mindful within our own bodies. Whenever you are ready to begin, we'll find a comfortable seat the legs stretched up. To start, find a seat with your legs stretched out in front of you. Feet flexed, toes pointed upwards. And if you prefer, uh, in the case of your hips being sore or the ground being a little bit unforgiving on the sits bones, you are welcome to take a blanket folded like this or one under, just to give them a little lift. I'm alleviating any stress that may be placed onto them. Take a big breath in, sit up nice and tall, and as you exhale, allow yourself to sink into your seat. It's feeling the activity through the legs, and you're welcome to close your eyes if that helps you feel into your body better. And place left hand onto the heart, right hand onto the belly to feel the breath move. Body expands as you inhale. softens as you exhale. Take a handful of clearing breaths, letting go of your evening, yesterday. creating space for today, this morning. When you're ready, allow your mouth to close and guide the breath in and out of the nose. Feeling a bit of softness. And on your next breath in, you can let your eyes open if you chose to close them. Reach the arms up overhead. Take a look between the hands, and as you exhale, fold over the legs, reaching your hands for your feet. A big breath in, pressing hands towards shins, finding a little halfway lift. And as you exhale, sink back in. Just taking this gently. Remind you're here not to hyperextend into the knees if you have a tendency to do so. Always keeping a touch of softness here. And last one. Resting wherever you happen to fall. And slowly begin to come back up. Place the hands behind you. Plant the feet. Fingertips point towards your seat. Extend right leg straight out. Point and flex the toes. And continue to draw the shoulders together, lifting the heart and chest, not sinking and slouching into this, but keeping it nice and active. And switch your sides, replanting right foot, extending left leg out, point and flex. Mm -hmm. 
Soles of the feet together, knees to the sides. And take another breath in. Slowly start to lift the heart, gaze forward. Exhale, walk the hands slightly more forward. Inhale, root into the sits bones, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. And from here, begin to press into the right hand, lift up through the left arm. And take a big side body stretch, reach left arm overhead and behind you. As you inhale, reach out, bring left hand down and switch your sides. Right arm reaches up overhead, and drop behind you. And breathe in, extend out. Exhale, right hand to floor, press into both hands, lift the chest. Cross the ankles, find your way to your hands and knees, bringing your blanket along with you for extra cushion. Toes curled under or uncurled, depending on if you want that extra foot strap place of contact. Sometimes it can be too much on the feet though, especially if they're sore, so do what you need. And as you start to find your way into this shape, you may notice places that need to wag from side to side. For me, usually it's my hips and my shoulders. Maybe for you, more space in the side body. The head and the neck. And just taking a couple breaths to feel into those cranky spaces and also the spaces that feel good today too. With your next breath, gently settle back to neutral. Chin slightly tucked into chest, long spine. Curl the toes underneath here. And begin to soften onto the forearms. And taking on a Hatasana, heart melting pose nice and slowly. Be here for a good 15 breaths, so no need to rush. Especially if this is where you will be concluding your journey. This is a beautiful heart opener in itself here. And if you are someone who does tend to go a bit deeper into this posture and can very slowly, very subtly, start to draw the heart a little closer to the floor. Not going all the way down, remembering that we have lots of time. We'll see if you can just slow down a little. Maybe begin to crawl the elbows a little more forward, creating more space for you to melt. Coming to rest either onto forehead or chin. On an inhale, press into the hands, taking it slowly up, drawing them back in towards yourself. 
take a breath and press into the right hand, reach left hand into the air. As you exhale, draw left arm between the space here for thread the needle. Right hand walks towards the top of the mat. See how this feels. Maybe you enjoy the extra space for the side body. Maybe it's made you feel unstable. You're always welcome to draw the right hand back by the face if you need. And on your next breath in, press into the right hand. Slowly lift up, reach left arm into the air. Exhale, left hand comes to meet the right. Flag hip side to side. When you're ready, coming to the other side, press your right into the left hand, reach right arm into the air. Exhale, thread right arm through the space between left hand and knee. Last breath. And draw the left hand by your face, firmly press. Inhale, reach up, right fingertips to the sky, exhale. Plant right hand to meet left. Movement here. Doesn't have to be what I'm doing, it could be wherever it is that your body decides you need to move into. Big toes together, sink the hips back towards the heels. Shift weight to left and right. Find that happy medium. Bring the palms together. And bring hands overhead pressing into the elbows. Lift yourself up, sitting on through the heels. Move the blanket out of the way. Take a breath here. Lean your right ear to right shoulder. And then switch, drawing left ear to left shoulder. And side to side a few more times. Eventually working your way into bigger movements. And changing direction. And back to center. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, reach out. Draw the knees together and sit off onto your left hip. Begin to stack your hips and your knees in a way where your left foot is pressing against your, like the top of your right thigh here, towards the inside. And then your right foot is somewhere kind of back by your seat. 
So as you inhale, reach up through both arms, get lots of space through the side body, and just remember how this feels, not only through the left side, but the right as well. Draw the left hand to the floor, and as you inhale, begin to press up onto both knees, drawing hips towards that diagonal. Take a breath in, and if you'd like, you can lay your head back. If you'd like the support, right hand to cup the back of the head. And take one more breath in the shape. And slowly reach out. Find your way back to the mat. Inhale, lift both arms up. And exhale, take a counter twist. And drawing it all back through the center. Come to switch sides. Sitting off onto the right hip. And bending both knees, drawing right foot to the top of left thigh. Left foot towards your seat. Big breath in, drawing torso forward. Squaring it with the top of the mat. And remember, length through both sides of the body. Right hand plants to the floor. Left arm lifts up as you reach hips towards the corner of the room. Again, your choice here. Hand to the back of the head. And mindfully make your way down. Knit the rib cage together, inhale, lift up, exhale, gentle counter twist. And back through the center, we'll straighten right leg out, and then swing left to meet the right. Meeting back on the seat, hands now, if you'd like, you can Draw the fingertips to point to the back of the mat instead of towards you. Or if you like them towards you, that's fine too. Crossing right ankle over top of left thigh, letting the leg kind of wobble from side to side, lifting up the hip. Switch your sides, left ankle over top of the right. And slide the left knee to stack on top of the right. You begin to crawl the right foot to the left side of your mat. Sit up. Find yourself in somewhat of a gomu and a cow face pose. If the knees don't directly stack, that's okay. If there's some adjustments to be made, even better. Just find where you feel comfortable, so long as both of your sits bones are firmly planted and do you feel free to breathe. There may be a bit of resistance here in the hips or the hamstrings, the quads, and just breathe into all of that. There shouldn't be any pain though, so if that is what you're feeling, back off a little. I'm not leaning so much into it, giving the knees a little break. It's another posture. We're gonna take our time in And slow, deep breaths. In for four, out for four. Letting your mind reside in that space. Awareness of the breath. And 
If you feel like drawing a little deeper into this, maybe bringing your chest closer to the knee, resting hands onto the floor or block. Moving blocks out of the way if you chose to add them. Sitting up, letting the legs stretch out, giving them a nice little shake. And switching your sides. Right knee stacking somewhere on top of the left. Doesn't have to be perfect. Left heel to the right side of the mat, right foot to the left side. And taking a breath and lifting heart up. As many breaths as you may need to settle into this side. Feel ready to bring your hands towards the ground or your blocks. yourself to the seat let the legs come to just a very small V so definitely not your fullest extent maybe about 60% of what you can do and again if you prefer the addition of a blanket underneath the hips by all means add that in Sitting tall onto the hips, squaring the torso. Don't change anything here, but just turn it towards your right leg. Keep all that space, both side body, squareness in the chest, reach both arms up overhead, and as you exhale again, keep maintaining all of this. And just float yourself down. Hands rest wherever they will, ground, blocks, Maybe taking a bind around a leg if you'd like that. Slowly settling into this shape. Press into the hands, situate yourself back up. And turn yourself to the center. And slowly turn towards the left leg again, keeping everything squared. Inhale, reach up through both arms and exhale, fold. And firmly root into the hips, keep the toes pointed upwards, foot active. Your next breath, lock the hands up. Back into the center. Cross over the ankles, find your way to your hands and knees once more. Bringing your blanket along with you if it is out of reach.
From the hands and knees, extend the left toes to the back of the mat. Feel the leg stretch all the way out. You can give a little press here, working into that calf muscle. Shift your weight back, centering it onto hands and knees again. Draw left toes up and then bring them to the right side of the mat. And take a breath in, lift toes up and draw them down and up and down. And breathing in, bringing them up. Exhale back down, a couple more. And keep the hips square. Try not to dip into the right one. Four, three, two. Last one, bring it around. And to meet the right, shift hips left and right. Right toes to the back. Stretch the calf out. And center your weight. Lift the toes up, bring them to the left side of the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Just taking a few of these until you feel even with the other side, following your breath. Couple more. Last one, bring the leg around. Curl the toes underneath. Walk the hands slightly in front of the shoulders, preparing for your first downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana of the day. So as you curl the toes underneath and bring some weight into the hands, Find a bit of buoyancy, lightness here in the hips and the torso as you let them lift up, following your breath in. And as you exhale, walking it out, taking up space on your mat, shifting from side to side. And dip left knee in, and the right knee. As you inhale, come back to hands and knees. And lower down through Chaturanga, finding your push-up. Elbows hugging the sides as you go. Stretch the legs out, rest the hips down. Take a breath in, lift the chest slightly up. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And last time, inhale. This time, float the hands and lift the feet. And come all the way down. If you have your blanket still underneath your hips, just take a moment to slide it out and off to the side, out of your way. And just to clear this space around your mat, moving props kind of towards the front. And from here, Love. Right arm is going to extend out to the side of the mat like a T, straight out from the shoulder socket. You'll rest onto right side of the cheek. Mm -hmm. 
bend the left knee. Reach left hand for left foot. And slowly release the foot. Bring left hand right back by where the chest and rib cage are. Use this hand. Keep left foot bent to help press you onto right foot. And drawing the left foot back behind you. Once the foot comes behind you, We'll either completely rest down or maybe adjust the toes touch for now. That is totally fine. Slowly guide yourself back. Squaring hips. Bringing both arms back onto the mat. Extend the left arm out to the side. Planting hand down and resting onto the left side of your cheek. Bend the right knee. Reach right hand for right foot. Keep the knee bent, but release your grip. Bringing right hand back by your chest. Begin to press onto outer edge of left hip. Bringing right toes behind you. And a couple breaths here. Create a pillow once more for your forehead out of your hands. With your next breath, begin to interlace hands behind you, right about at the lower back. And take a breath, reach the hands, elongating arms out and extending them towards the heels. Lift the heart, lift the chest, calves, feet all up off of the mat. Mindfully lower down. One last time, inhale lift. So bring it down, release the hands to lower back first. And right hand by the rib cage, left hand by rib cage. Curl the toes underneath and press your way to hands and knees. And take a breath and lift the heart, look forward. And exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, look back. 
and hell and exhale Take a breath as you sink back into child's pose. And now bring it back hands and knees. Exhale, sink hips down. And now come forward. Exhale back to child's pose. Inhale, press hands and knee. And a few more, just moving with your breath. Reversing the motion, pressing back. With your next breath, curl toes underneath, lift the hips. And settle back into downward facing dog. Right leg lifts into the air. Open the hip if you like. Exhale, step right hand between, right foot between the hands. Soften left knee down. Hands to the thigh and stack. Torso over hips. On an inhale, squeeze the inner thighs together. Wrap back toes underneath. Feel the thighs draw up. As you inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. A few more. Just feeling lightness in the upper body. Strength in the legs. Keeping me stacked over top of ankle. Last time, lower, hands wrap behind, lower back, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lay the head back. Come on up, bring left hand to the floor, right hand to the floor. Curl the back toes underneath, draw the knee slightly in. Lift back leg up, planting heel down towards the mat. It's okay if it doesn't come all the way down. Wiggle the toes back. Press hands down. And step your right foot back to meet the left. Take a little vinyasa if you'd like, whatever your chaturanga push-up may look like. And eventually finding your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach, left leg up. Bend the knee into the chest. <laughs> Step your foot between your hands and lower right knee down. As you inhale, stack torso over top of hips. Curl the back toes underneath. Wrap the inner thighs together and as you breathe in, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Exhale. Inhale. 
couple more. Last one. As you lower, reach your hands behind your lower back. Interlace the fingers, lift the heart, exhale, lay the head back. Inhale, right hand comes to the floor, left hand comes to the floor. Back toes curl underneath, lift the legs, straighten both. And find the back heel coming towards the ground. into both hands, wiggle back toes to the back of the mat again. Left foot steps back to plank. And shift forward through chaturanga push-up. And curl the toes, inhale, lift. Look over your shoulders. Curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Right leg up. Shift it into pigeon, keeping it upright though. Walk the hands beside your hips or to blocks if you need. Curl back toes underneath. Bend the knee, reach your hand for your foot if you'd like. Slowly find your way back, downward facing dog. A quick vinyasa if you'd care for it. Left leg lifts, open the hip. And bring it forward. Walk the hands up towards yourself, take a breath in. Release it out. And bend the back knee. Reach your hand for your foot. And slowly lower. Find your way to downward facing dog. And take a big breath in, lower down to the knees. Coming to sit onto them, hands to the heart. Find a breath in and a breath out. A couple more like this, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Take your breath in, reach both arms up. And as you exhale, open them out wide. Inhale. And exhale, turn torso to the right, open arms out at the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. A couple more. This time folding forward. Curl. Lift your hips slightly up so you can cross your ankles and come to a seat. Palms rest onto the knees. Or if there is another mudra you'd like to take, Anjali, Gyan, something else.
And take note of all sensations present in this moment, how you feel. And place your left hand on your heart, right hand to rest on to the left. Even if today is a really busy day filled with lots to accomplish, try to move throughout your day with the same sense of mindfulness you just moved with through practice. Give yourself space to process, to feel, to notice and observe before reacting or making a decision. Gift yourself deep breaths when something is asking to be released. and take note of how much better you feel after you take a deep breath. Remind yourself that it's not how fast you get things done, not how quickly you move through one task to the next, how much quality how much goodness you can put into each moment. Taking time to nurture each moment as if it were your last. You'll soften your head to your heart, sealing this intention in to Slow down to be mindful. Wherever and however you can. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Namaste.